Here's Villa View. Coming up, we preview the Carling Cup final warm-up against Manchester United. Are Villa boring? And Matt Kendrick discusses the fine form of Brad Friedel. Hello and welcome to Villa View. As ever, I'm joined today in our Fort Dunlop studios by our man at the Villa, Matt Kendrick. Welcome, Matt. Hi there. Well, um, fixture up tonight is a big one for Villa. It's uh, Manchester United at Villa Park, which acts as a Carling Cup final warm-up, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Obviously, um, it's important enough in its own right. Villa pushing pushing very hard for the top four now after a decent point at Tottenham. Um, Manchester United come to Villa Park probably gunning for a bit of revenge after Villa finally won at Old Trafford before the turn of the year after 26 years waiting um, so yeah it's going to be going to be another tough challenge and Villa as you've pointed out there ended their uh, away hoodoo against Manchester United but they're, they've got a somewhat of a home on as well haven't they yeah I think it's uh, dates back to 1995 doesn't it that, that balmy sunny day at the start of the season uh, mm. 3-1 uh, Alan Hansen famously said uh, you can't win anything with kids about the United team and they came roaring back but um yeah, it was a great day and a great occasion, and uh, how Villa would love to repeat that again tonight. Well, uh, everybody's looking uh, ahead to the game tonight, and here is the thoughts of Villa boss Martin O'Neill. Um, I, it's an exciting game for us. We played a few weeks ago at uh, before Christmas at Old Trafford. We did very well that day. Tomorrow's a different day, and um, they're in great form. Manchester United playing very well now at the moment. And um, and really in particular is playing brilliantly. But we're uh, we're coming off the back of some uh, um, very decent performances. Uh, one at Fulham um, and uh, hard fought draw against Tottenham. So we're we'll try and be prepared. If you're setting out a lot of plans to uh, concentrate on one player, the opposition that you're talking about have got uh, quality in abundance. So they've got other places in which they will cause you plenty of problems. So. Well, Matt, uh, we preview Manchester United there, but looking back, it was a goal of straw at White Hart Lane for Villa, uh, where there was a relentless chats of boring, boring Villa, as, as you signal in there. Um, and this leads us into our first uh, reader's question here, or viewer's question, I should say. It's from uh, Forever Villain 1, and he says he believes that Villa rely too much on defence and not enough on attack, and that in response creates boring football so in some ways he's saying were the Spurs fans right to uh, highlight that fact I think on Saturday it was particularly harsh I mean Tottenham have got a reputation for playing this kind of gung-ho attacking football and they signal their intentions very early straight from the kick-off they're in Villa's faces I, I don't know I don't really know what Villa could have done in the face of that mm. to escape with the point other than what they did do, which was kind of get a lot of men behind the ball, work extremely hard and look for the openings on the break. I mean, sadly, they didn't have many openings on the break and the ones that came along, they weren't able to, to put away. But mm -hmm. to, to label them boring, I think, I think it's harsh in the extreme. And once again, it was Villa's defence, which is really the highlights. And uh, Dan from Sutton has highlighted the fact that from keeping eight clean sheets out of the last ten league games, Brad Friedel is uh, odds on to get the Golden Gloves this season, isn't it? Yeah, it's a phenomenal record that is, isn't it? Um, I think you say eight from ten. I think it's four on the trot now. Mm. And when you consider that they've they've played Arsenal and Tottenham in the last four games, um, I mean Brad Friedel's lucky in the fact that he's got a really kind of tight unit in front of him. We all know how, how great great Richard Dunn and James Collins have been as a double act. But Friedel showed himself, didn't he, on, on Saturday that on the rare occasions when they do when opponents do get past that back four. He's still, he's still like a spring chicken, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Considering he's kind of approaching his, his late thirties now, some of his reflexes and, and the positions he takes up are, are brilliant. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's got eleven clean sheets now going into the United game. Uh, I think Petr Cech is, is his kind of rival at the moment, who also has got eleven. So um, yeah, it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good race to see who gets that golden glove. And I think on current form, Friedel certainly deserves it. Uh, Martin only highlighted after the match that the fact that Brad Goosen's form in the cup this season has uh, kind of lifted Friedel's game to another yeah. level. Is that something that you agree with? I think so, yeah. I mean, the, there were thoughts at the start of this season, how long can Friedel go on, really? Um, he doesn't make many mistakes. There were a couple of mistakes that crept in earlier in the season, but, but since Guzan's come and shone in most of his cup games, it kind of seems to have kind of given Friedel an extra level of motivation, uh, as if to say, well, hang on a minute, don't write me off just yet. I'm, I'm here for at least another season. Um, and I think, I think the club are reaping the rewards from that. Thanks, Matt. And finally, do many of you Villa fans remember this picture? 
Well, that is exactly the pitch that was up on the wall of the White Hart Lane press hub and hardly a snap to help improve Villa's ugly reputation in that part of North London. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you the same time next week.